Uh, today we're installing a tow assist kit on the rear of a 2006 Toyota Sienna station wagon. Move the shock absorber lower bottom mount, which will free the spring and remove the spring from the spring pocket. The air fitting into the top port on the bag. Then pick up the uh, plate. Install the lower plate onto the bag. Uh, install the air fitting into the top port of the bag. Then install the bottom plate. And then install the top plate onto the bag. Bolt them down. Okay, and notice our bag is two inches taller than our competitor's bag. This allows you to poo, uh, have more air volume for a smoother ride when you get to ride height. Then, at this point, we're going to lower the vehicle. Note that the spring we removed has an airlift inner air bladder installed in it. The customer is taking these out because it causes for a very rough ride. The reason is the bladder increases the spring rate and stiffens it up so where the ride is virtually unbearable. When we put in our two inch taller air spring and get rid of the coil spring, then the ride is much softer. This customer probably spent $1,000 to put these in and now he has to discard them to put something in that will work properly. The red inner bladder is kind of like a band-aid. It's just not the right product. Uh, now we are bolting the bottom bag plate to the spring mount on the car. This is a 100% bolt-on installation and generally you wouldn't expect to spend more than an hour, two hours at the very most in the install. Okay, now we've threaded the quarter-inch airline through the factory hole with the coil spring seated and we're going to attach it to the fitting that's already screwed into the bag. install the now we're installing the flare we use compression fittings because they simply work the best once you install a compression fitting you should never uh, uninstall it without replacing the flare which you can get at Home Depot we need to lower the vehicle and put pressure on it so as to seat the bag up at the proper angle to the top mount. Okay, will that do it guys? Okay, now we've reinstalled, we reinstalled the lower shock mount. Note that we never removed the shock absorber at all. We just took off the bottom mount. And put the bolts on. And this side is finished. Then when we finish bolting them on, we use soapy water and spray the fitting areas looking for any leaks. A Schrader valve is installed in the bumper or inside the cabin or any appropriate place for airing at a service station or uh, with an onboard compressor, you have several several air options available. Okay, this is the bags in the pulley up position, and now we're going to let it down. Go all the way 
down. We're taking it all the way down to show the range of travel. The range of travel, as you can see, is approximately 13, 14, 15 inches. Now we're going to lift it up to factory height. And we're raising it up to normal ride height. And that'll about do it right there. Probably about midway in the 15 inches. This Toyota is ready to take off to Canada tomorrow. Everybody.